Hi everyone, thank you for checking out this video. It's about victim mentality today. I want to thank you for checking out my last video, Motivational Speech, uh, Making Choices. I want to talk to you about victim mentality because one of my friends said to me, you know Sebastian, I want to hurt everyone who has hurt me. I get this theory of process of thought and I truly understand it. You know, you want them to go through everything that you felt, feel the pain that you felt. I really do understand that. But there comes a point in time where in my own head, it's just not worth it. I try to live for today and I want to have tomorrow, quite frankly, and I want to be happy. I don't think that you can truly be happy when you go through life wanting other people to feel the pain that you felt. I moved out to Washington to see my biological mother and live with her while my dad and I had a dispute, so I moved out. For the longest time, I wanted nothing but the worst for him. You know, I wanted him to get hurt, probably, and just, you know, all this bad stuff that, you know, revenge really is about. I kind of came to my own and I said, you know, it's really not worth it, you know, wishing that on other people. And, you know, one day I want to be able to say, you know, Dad, thank you for uh, having all these issues with me because it kind of makes me who I am today. And I truly believe that. You know, I was talking to my friend, Kelsey, and she's looking for a guy, and she's still single, and she goes, you know, I'm really looking for a guy who doesn't have a victim mentality. And I said, well, what do you mean? And she goes, well, all the guys that I talk to act like they're victims of relationships and all this other stuff. And I said, I know exactly what you mean. Because I talk to girls, and they, are, they think they're the victims of relationships or bad issues. Honestly, I think we're all victims of life, and that's something that we all have to deal with. We all have stuff that goes wrong, and we all have stuff that, quite frankly, isn't great. And people who are going to backstab us and st sh ain't going to go right. Let's be quite honest. And my dad, I'll use him as a good example here. All my life growing up, he always said, you know, everyone's always left me, you know. You know, no matter what I do, no matter who I am with or what happens, everyone leaves me. You know, you say this enough times, it'll actually become part of you. And I don't think many people understand that. When you say something repetitively, you're going to leave me, you're going to leave me, you're going to leave me, it will happen. I promise. You say it enough times, it will happen. Not saying that I can say that a horse will pop out of midair and land on, like, just outside my apartment, because that ain't gonna happen. But if you're gonna say that, you know, someone's gonna leave me because they just are, and you tell the person that, they more than likely will. So you can't go around with the victim mentality as is, thinking that the world's against you and nothing's gonna go right, because quite honestly, it probably won't if you keep going on that trend that you're already going on, because you expect everything to go wrong. You're not going to see the good in little things to where I have the most beautiful view outside of my apartment and I appreciate that every single day. Honestly, I look down the street in New Orleans, Minnesota. I look down Minnesota Street and it's absolutely gorgeous lit up. That's a small thing. I could have a horrible day. I really could. But just looking at that view makes my day a little bit better. And that's what I try to appreciate. You know, I've got things that go wrong all the time too. And I could fall into that victim mentality like I used to. I think there's a lot of things that actually go wrong in my day that I actually don't even bother even caring anymore. And that's one of the great things is my mom's a great role model to that too is to where she's had a lot of medical issues and she'll have a bad day. But she won't ever, you know, be like, oh, today's horrible. You know, I hate this. She'll be like, oh, the sun's out today. Or it's raining less than it was yesterday. Because she lives in Seattle. So, you know, 180 days straight of rain and then 80 day drought. But, you know, it's just one of those things. Honestly, I know that when you go through life with a victim mentality, because I did for the longest time, I always said, nobody wants me. I'm too ugly. Nobody wants, you know, somebody who's as dumb as me. And that's not true, I'm not dumb, but I always told myself that, and I always went around with this victim mentality like I keep saying. People believe me. I swear to God, you know, when I said something that 
somebody didn't agree with, like I said, you know, nobody wants me because I'm too ugly. People literally stop talking to me. And this happens to the best of us. We don't have great days. We say something and somebody will stop talking to you. I honestly thank the people for that publicly right now that probably still don't remember me, but I want to thank you because you installed a seed in my mind that told me, okay, well, you don't want to be around somebody like me. You need the best for your life. And that's how I go about my life. You know, I try to pick the person if I say, come on, let's go. But if you keep on this path, you just got to dump them off at some point. And that's something I'm going to touch on in another video. But for the meantime, we just got to stop this victim mentality stuff. We all go through problems. My buddy Joey, you know, he works over 80 hours a week. I was working as much as him at one point, but he does this every single week. And if it ain't 80, it's 60. And yeah, the money is good, but it is depressing. And there are people out here there who do it. And he's not too fond of his boss. But he doesn't go through life with this victim mentality. He just says, well, maybe tomorrow it'll be a little bit better. And he's seen the little things in life that are great. You know, he's able to still run three podcast shows. Or my boss, Jeff Sprick, or former boss, I should probably say, now mentor. He, uh, he doesn't have it perfect either. You know, we had this Subway thing when I was working for Subway. He organized this great deal to where, you know, we had a local musician come in, play. I was running around in the subman uniform, and it didn't go great. But the people who did came or come really enjoyed the experience. And I know that's what I took away from it. And I know that's what he took away from it, is he was able to implant even just a small thing of positivity. And he never even... I don't think he ever thought about the negative, honestly, because that's who he is and that's how he functions. And that's probably why I'm becoming, you know, who I am too, is just because he is my mentor. And I love you, Jeff, <laughs> very much. And I appreciate everything that you did. A little shout out there. But I hope you all keep watching. And yeah, I look forward to making some more videos for you. And definitely check out my first motivational speech. Can promise that the second one's gonna be a lot better. And I hope that these videos aren't too many ands. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you again.